Access Manager is a tool used by auto rostering districts to manage their roster data. Content assignments can be handled by the roster data when you use OneRoster 1.1 and include the resources files. Districts need to manually assign content on Access Manager if they use OneRoster 1.0 or if they use OneRoster 1.1 but don't send us the resources files. This video demonstrates how to assign content on Access Manager. Be aware that only organization administrators with an account at the district level can complete this task. Our first step is to log in. You may access McGraw-Hill platforms via SSO or you may log in directly. To log in directly, go to my.mheducation.com and enter your username and password. If your account includes both the administrator and teacher roles, you'll likely land on ConnectEd when you SSO or log in. You'll need to click Admin Tools at the top of the page to switch to your administrator role. If you land on the Open Learning Platform as a teacher, click the Profile menu in the upper right and select Administrator to switch to your administrator role. You're now on the Admin Tools page. Click Access Manager on the left menu and you'll land on the dashboard in a new browser window or tab. Those that log in at access.mheducation.com will land on the Access Manager dashboard page. To assign content, you'll need to know which courses, classes, or users need to be assigned each McGraw-Hill product. You can save yourself valuable time by creating courses and then affiliating multiple classes with each course. That enables you to assign a product to one or more courses and all affiliated classes, teachers, and students receive that content assignment. For example, if my math grade two course is affiliated with all second grade classes across the district, then making that one assignment on Access Manager takes care of assigning the product to every student and teacher in all 50 second grade classes in my district. If I assign content by class, or if we created a course for each class, then I'd need to make 50 content assignments on Access Manager. That takes a lot more time. And if you assign by user, it takes even longer. Now that you understand how courses can simplify the content assignment process, let's make a content assignment. To begin, click Assign on the left menu. Now I'll select a product. Search speeds up the process, but you can scroll through the list. I'll select this World History product and click Next. Since this is a product on the Open Learning Platform, I can only assign the product by course or by class. If I selected a ConnectEd product, I'd see course, class, and user in this drop-down list. Since we're talking about assigning content by course or class, let me give you some important information about Alex on Open Learning. All Alex content should be assigned the same way across the district. Decide if you want to assign Alex content either by class or by course and then be consistent. That way, all of your Alex classes will be created and rostered correctly. Let's continue assigning world history. I'll assign it by course, and all of our courses created by the one roster files appear. Now I'll select the world history course. 
In some situations, you may need to select more than one course. It totally depends how your courses are structured on your roster files. Once I select the course, all schools are selected by default as you see in this drop down list on the right. For most situations, you don't need to make any changes here. You can leave all schools selected. I won't need to worry about my elementary school being selected because none of those classes would be affiliated with the World History course. The system only assigns the product to the classes associated with the course. Now that I've selected the course, I click Assign. And that's it! To continue the process, click New Assignments and select another product. To check if your content was assigned as expected, go to the Data tab and search for a user by first name, last name, or ID. Here, I can see that this student has been assigned the World History course. I can also hover over the exclamation point to see how the content was assigned. World History was assigned by course and Algebra 2 was assigned by class. Here are a few important things you need to know. First, when assigning ConnectEd products, you must assign both the teacher and student editions. You don't need to do this for products on the Open Learning Platform. You can assign one or the other, and the system assigns both to the course or class. Next, the best use case for assigning content by user is when a coach or staff member needs access to a ConnectEd product and they don't have rostered classes. Don't worry about not being able to assign open learning platform products by user. The coach or staff person can select a product when they create a class you don't need to assign that content to them. One final time-saving tip is to use the same course names every school year because Access Manager retains your content assignments year over year. So unless you change your course names, add new course names, or purchase new McGraw-Hill products, you won't need to assign this content every year. Okay, I think that covers it. Links to the PDF instructions for assigning content and links to other resources for auto-rostering districts are provided below the video. If you need additional help, you can contact Integration Support at 1-855-315-6444. Or send an email to integration support at mheducation.com.